All right, let's take a look at how to work the workspace. When you're saying the word workspace, you could be referring to all of the elements in Illustrator, and you would be right. But more often, you're going to be referring to one specific configuration of all of these elements. So we're going to go through, talk about how to save, how to configure, and what these elements are called. Starting out, we have the workspace switcher menu. At the top of this menu, you'll see the workspaces that you have saved. Now below these, you'll have the defaults that Adobe thinks you might find useful for specific tasks. Like there's a typography, blah, 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 back to essentials. Okay, now you can reset the workspace to the default. And so if you've changed something, just go to reset essentials and it will go back to the way it is saved. If you decide that you like the changes that you've made, hit new workspace and you'll be given the option to save your workspace to a new workspace that will appear up here. Now if you want to delete, rename, or copy a workspace that you have saved, hit manage workspaces to do that. Okay, we've got the application bar to the left of that and you'll see we have the ability to go to bridge and arrange the documents that we have open. The more documents that you have open, the more options that you have. Okay, below that we have the control panel. Now this is called the control panel, not the control bar, because you'll see a little couple dots over here which indicate that this is a dockable panel. So if we move it down to the bottom, we'll see that we get a blue bar indicating that we can dock it at the bottom as well as the top. So that is useful to know. Oops, now I got it. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Okay. So you'll see we have a lot of flyout menus and buttons here, or drop down menus. And if you want to adjust these, you can click over here. And these will automatically change their context relative. So if I go to this text tool, you see I get things like character and paragraph that pop up. Now what if I don't want to see something at all? Click over here and you'll get the option to uncheck or remove these and then they won't show up for any of the tools. So if I unclick document, you'll see it removes document setup and preferences. Okay. All right, now on to the meat of your workspace. And I mean just the, the main area. Okay, so we got our, our tools panel over here. We have our document window, which holds all your documents. And within that, you have your scratch area, which is anywhere you can draw or place an object or anything like that. And to the right here, we've got the panels that are open by default in this particular workspace. Alright, now the tools panel is pretty much set by Illustrator. What I mean by that is you can't um, delete specific things. One thing you can do is you can, oh sorry, you can drag these out and make them <clears throat> panels that you can dock elsewhere if it's a flyout panel menu. So you'll see this will put them vertical and you'll be able to dock this wherever you want. Now quickly about docking, you'll see that beneath the tools panel you have just got this gray area and that's because it's docked to the side. Horizontal docking such as the control panel only works horizontally and vertical docking such as the tools panel and your other panels only work vertically. So we can dock this panel over here, and we can dock this panel, oh sorry they're connected now. Um, you can dock this panel over here if you want, okay, I want the whole thing. Alright, All right, let me just reset essentials real quick. And the same works for these ones that you pull out from here. Okay, now let's take a look at what we can do with some of these panels. 
with these panels, I guess you can't you can't do it with these, but you can adjust the width. You can adjust how it's displayed. If you just pull it out, you'll see you get the name, which might be useful at first, but once you have gotten familiar with the names, you're going to want to leave it so you have that extra space. Okay, now this is a group of panels, and this is a bigger group of panels. It's important to know that this one on the side, the big one that comes by default, is not um, unique. It's not special. It's just a a couple snap together panels and you can create your own you can delete the whole thing if you want you can pretty much do whatever you want with the workspace if you want a panel that's not showing up by default you can go over here and find the panel that you want now whenever you're snapping panels to each other it's important to know that it will take on the property of or I mean like the display of whatever you're snapping it to. So if I snap these to here, they'll get bigger. And if I snap these over to here, they'll get smaller. So just be aware of the ability to collapse and expand these panels with this thing to delete them and the ability to snap them wherever you so wish. And keep in mind that these panels are separate these don't really snap to these and these also don't have the widened display but they can be snapped and docked in a similar way and just a quick tip it'll save you a lot of space if you undock these panels the tools panel a lot of people like it as one I was just raised with two that's why it's two but so just think about how you can save yourself some space all right, finally, we've got some document info down here. Starting out, we have the zoom level. Now, if you hit up and down, these will move by one. But you also have handy dandy um, default zooms that you can use. Over here, we have artboard navigation. And you can click the arrows if you want to first, previous, next, last. Or you can just use the arrows on your keyboard. And this is useful because it'll zoom right in and you have the artboard full screen for your working pleasure. Now, last of all, we have document info that you can set what you want. And you can show a few different things. Document color profile, number of undos, date and time, current tool, and artboard name. So play around with that. Um, the undo's is pretty useful because it allows you to keep track of where you are in your document. Uh, the artboard can be useful because it's easier to see this than it is to see that. So you'll know where you're working if you're zoomed in because I can't tell the difference between nine and six just by looking at that. All right, well, that's how you get started with the workspace. In the next video, we'll talk about making the workspace work for you. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome.